I still look at the University of Miami and think, look at what we accomplished despite all these setbacks. A lot of politicians want to say, oh, yeah, I was the one that bridged the gap and brought the racial tensions down because we rolled tanks down the streets and that's why they don't riot no more. No, no, no. What Howard Snellenberger did and the University of Miami did when they allowed kids from the inner city to now be able to get an education as well as play football ease all the tensions of Miami. It brought this community together. The University of Miami had a lot of players that they saved from some bad areas, tough backgrounds. We gave them an opportunity to get an education, you know, which they never even thought, you know, was possible. For once in their life, they were winning. For once in their life, they were doing something that they were very, very proud of. And, and so I think that's what bonded everybody together, regardless where they came from. And when we won, the whole community of the city of Miami won. It's a Canes thing. It definitely is a Canes thing. It's a Canes thing and you would not understand. It's almost like a gang, like a crip or a blood. You're a hurricane. The University of Miami is the greatest team in the history of college football. I'm just going by the stats. How many teams go undefeated nowadays? Truly, how many teams actually just run the table against a really tough schedule against big-time opponents? It just doesn't happen. The aura of the U has taken on such a huge life of its own. You can't take that brand that we've created. We are the U. We have created what football is in college. Ed Reed, the U. Dan Morgan, the U. Kevin Winslow, the U. Montreal Road, the U. Ed and Dan, the U. The U. The U. The U. The U. Where's McGee? Yeah, you already know, the University of Miami. A lot of the guys that play at the University of Miami will go down as some of the greatest players to ever play in the National Football League. Ever! Ever. We set a tone for not just sports, but for a culture. They've won championships with Howard Schnellenberger, Jimmy Johnson, Dennis Erickson. Coaches change, and they still win championships. Absolutely, it was a dynasty. And it was the team of the The largest, longest, and best dynasty of any in the country since World War II. And they're not just a dynasty, they're a pioneering dynasty. They did it first. And the U, better known as the Bad Boys, it's all about the U. It all happens only at the U, baby. I am a king for life. The U. Enough said.